Let's kick it off in George where Kevin Brandt is standing by. Kevin, what's the latest on the building collapse and of course the subsequent investigations? A very good morning to you, Rafiwa. Well, in comparison to the busy activity that played out here in Victoria Street, where that building collapsed, it's very quiet here this morning. Most of the workers have now vacated the area. The machinery that you see behind me, these are the construction vehicles that were brought in from Cape Town. I believe that this will be the last pieces of machinery to leave the area. There's now been a fence put up on the outer perimeters of where that building was with a green netted um, feature also there. And that has been put up, my understanding is, from the owner of this site and this is to allow the Department of Employment and Labor who will now zoom in on a number of factors that resulted in this building imploding. We do know from the authorities, the Western Cape government and disaster management saying that 62 people were on the building site when it collapsed, 34 people were successfully rescued, 33 people unfortunately passed away during this incident including five who were rescued but they later succumbed to their injuries in hospital and with regard to the workers um, that have been rescued we know that 15 are from south africa 19 from mozambique seven from zimbabwe 13 from malawi five lesotho nationals two the identity is still unknown of and there's one permanent residency holder here the authorities say but the big focus now rofiwa will be moving to the investigative processes we know that the south african police service has wrapped up its work here at the site and they've removed all the police tape 